The Milgram experiment as it is called is a test to measure the willingness of human beings. How far will we go if someone orders us to? If an authority figure told you to hurt someone, all the while assuring you that it's okay, they deserve it, would you do it? What if it progressed further? What if they ask you in no uncertain terms to kill the person? Looking back through history, there are few atrocities more horrifying than the Holocaust. Six million Jews, not just killed, but systemically decimated, tortured, experimented upon. Some people would perhaps prefer that we forget it ever happened. Some idiots, with amazing stupidity, even have the gall to deny its occurrence. After all, it's in the past, and we should move on. Mistakes were made. It seems such a naive and foolish view, to me at least, that instead of facing the barbaric nature of man, we pretend that it simply isn't there. Human suffering anywhere concerns men and women everywhere. Elie Wiesel, a Nobel Peace Laureate, lived through the Holocaust, lived through, in fact, the concentration camps. A lot of books have kept me up at night, wondering whether we are that bad, but in the end, most of the fears can be dismissed with three words. It's only fiction. They would never enslave us. They would never strip our hope from us. They would never burn people in our age. Humanity would not tolerate it. But night isn't fiction. It's a first-hand account of what happened, and happened not for a moment, but for years. Not for a man, but six million of them. And as Wiesel says himself, there is no greater indignity than telling people who have suffered excruciating pain and loss that their pain and loss were illusions. It's a horrific tale of a teenager in the death camps, but it is much more than a story. It's an unflinching look at fear and depravity, reflecting on man's inhumanity towards man. There is no happy ending here. How does humanity go on? How do we, as a species, live with the knowledge of genocides? We cannot bring back the dead or take back what others have done. And that is true. We cannot do that, but there is something we can do. We can remember the dead. We can learn from the lessons that others like Weasel have shared and make sure that no one has to go through it again.